Here's a nice one that tends to only come up for sale during the Christmas season at Sam's Club or Costco. I believe I got this one at Sam's Club. It's like $14 and some change plus tax. Which I'm sure at that price point it's worth it. I actually do like Mazisto and their 118 scale, I guess, budget line. But they call it the special edition instead of budget. Nice. Lots of plastic on it. Let's see. Well, I'll point off the straps that I got inked off. Oh, that's really free turning. Nice. Let's see. So it does have rotors inside, and it does have calipers. So you kind of see them. They're kind of like a really dark gray, so it's kind of hard to see them through. I wonder why they didn't do like red calipers or something. I think I might take the wheels off and give them a fresh and, or fresher upper. Um, hmm, weird. Rotors obviously do not turn, but on a $14 model, what do you expect? Let's take a look inside the bonnet. Not a lot going on here, but look how deep that goes in. You can hide some stuff in there. And obviously on a $14 model, that's not going to stay up either. I'm assuming that this opens because it was strapped down. So it does open. Just kind of a flat engine, little engine bay in there. But again, can't complain at the price point. Hey, it's a lot better than um, some of the resin models out there, where they just don't care about the engine. That's a bit of a pain to get down. Nice. Take a look at the front. R8 V10 Plus. Sounds like something is loose in there. Hmm. Do not know. You know, I'm, I'm actually, I'm fairly impressed with the detail on the interior. It's quite sharp for a $14 model. Though I know some hobby stores, um, like Toys R Us and them, they, they, they sell it for like 30 so it's like double the price, but still, even at that price point, it's hard to complain. Pretty nice. Not sure what's going on with those vents. It's kind of weird. And then, last but not least, the chassis. Um, yeah. <laughs> I would like to meet the person who designed that. Let's just throw a bunch of like wibbly wobbly stuff in there, you know? Just kind of, just whatever. Something that's kind of somewhat 
the parent. Ah, I wish that would stay up. But it doesn't. Oh well, no worries. Anyways, guys, let me know what you think of it. And do you have one? I think they come in red and silver as well. I might actually I might actually have the red one hiding somewhere. I picked up the blue one just because I didn't think that they are going to make other colors available. But, you know, whatever. Live and learn, right? And you can never have too many models, right? At least... That's what I thought. My display is actually getting pretty full now. Doing all these unboxing videos is getting it quite full. They decided to move my green machines to another location to where I can actually have some access to shelf space to add more 118 skill. Because if I could do that, I could add, what, 24 more? So let's keep these unboxing videos going, right? Anyways, guys, let me know what you'd like to have me do next for a video. If you got any questions you'd rather me do a video on, let me know. Let me know in the comments, and don't forget to like, subscribe, and as always, guys, happy hunting.